Thank you. Thank you. All right, here's what I wanted to do. We're going to do a trick with the twos, because I love them. You have a Sharpie in front of you. I want you each to sign the twos. Go ahead and write your name on there, and it's a great way to get an autograph. Ha. Uh, Simon, if you do me a favor, I want you to write the name of somebody that meant a lot to you in your life. It could be a nickname. It could be a person. It doesn't matter. But somebody that was okay. important to you. Yeah, yeah, on that card. Okay. Yep. All right. Howie, we got your two. Yep. Mel B, we got yours. Heidi, we got yours. And Simon, we can all see it. Yeah, it's okay. I, I've seen this trick. <laughs> you wrote the name <laughs> Eric. Who is Eric? My son. I love this. Remember that, okay? <laughs> uh, today, today I wanted to take an opportunity to tell America what magic has meant to me. Magic saved my life, and uh, there have been plenty of times where I was lost, and I didn't have the answers, and I didn't know where to go. So what I did is I turned to magic, and it helped me find myself. It simply taught me don't hate, don't blame, and forgive. And with that, I think we can all find ourselves. Don't hate. Imagine if we take all the hate out of our lives. Howie, I believe we will find ourselves. Wow. Mel B, may we all take the blame out and fill our hearts with love. And I believe we will find ourselves. Wow. Heidi, I've had a lot of things happen in my life. And forgiveness has given me the most beautiful thing in the world, and that's happiness. May we all forgive a little more, and we will find ourselves. Wow. Simon, we're going to shuffle these cards face up and face down. And if you think about it, this right here, this is life. When everything is going so perfect, and yet tragedy and chaos, they strike us when we least expect it. And it's what we all have in common. We all face this. But I think the difference is do we decide and do we choose to live in vision or do we live in circumstance? And I don't know about you guys, but I wake up every single morning and I choose to live in vision to find happiness knowing that life will work its way out and we will find ourselves. Thank you. I tell you what. Every one of us can relate to this. When life just kicks us when we're down, in those moments that life just decides to bury us. But if we stick together and we believe in one another, we will rise to the top. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how we will never lose ourselves. A minute ago, a minute ago, I told you guys that magic saved my life. The magic's not in these hands, it's not in these cards. It's in every one of us. It's in our breath, it's in our touch, it's in our words. It's what we think about this world and what we think about each other. And Simon, I had you write the name Eric, and I thought I'd make a little to-do list for you. Every night, may the magic forever live in your home. Grab your son and tell Eric you love him. And cross that off your list every single night. And ladies and gentlemen, may this world be magic. I love you. This has been one of the greatest opportunities of my life. I am John Dornbos. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. John Dornbos. We don't know how he does it. That was like 100 magic tricks in 90 seconds. Howie. Well, it was more than magic. It was inspirational. You made names appear, you made cards appear, you made tears appear. And knowing your story, you really do have a message and you really are on a mission and you really are a star. And thank you for that moment. Thank you for that inspiration. And not only, I want people at home not only to vote, but I want, you, I want them to remember your words and live by your message mm -hmm. that you just you. gave out. Mel B. Well, I thought I was being a bit crazy at first because I didn't quite understand what was going on. And then I think because I was so taken aback with your speech and inspired that I forgot to look at what you was actually doing. And then when I focused, I was like, oh my God, he's making things like just appear out of like nowhere. We've written it here and then it's there and then it's gone, then it appears. And I think you're brilliant at what you do and the way you present it is just spot on. So I've managed to figure it out now. You're just magic. <laughs> That's it. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's just forget about you being a famous football player. Go, Birds. 
It's also forget about you being really, really good at magic. What you just did was so inspirational and so positive. You really are a class act. Thank you. I wish for you to win this too. Sam. John, you know, I, I've only got a few seconds. I'm just going to say this. You talk the talk, you walk the walk, but you're more than just a great performer. You're someone who I think we'd all be very proud to say the winner of this show wow. is John Dorenbos. Yeah. Wow. John, truly inspiring everything that you've done. And what's impressive to me is your hard work. You literally just stepped off of the football field in an NFL game, came here and blew everyone away. I mean, to win this whole thing, knowing your entire journey, all your hard work, what would it mean to you? Uh, this would mean the world. And let me tell you, when you're down, don't listen to yourself, talk to yourself. And I've been telling myself since day one, I want to win this. I want to share the magic with the world. I want to show, and I want to connect with you guys every single day of my life. Thank you very much. Good luck, my man Doran Buff. People, y'all need your vote. Get online, use the app, or grab the phone after the break. It's the last act of the night. She's a young girl who sings, writes songs, and plays the ukulele. It's Grace Vanderwall's chance at a million dollars when we come back. <laughs>